Well, thank you, Jennifer. Have you ever considered hiring a life coach? Or maybe if you're an athlete, you can think of a coach who has had an influence on your life over the years. It is clear that we all need a guide in our lives, but the question therein lies, who is that best guide? I recently sat down with Bill Harris, who recommends the Holy Spirit as the top choice of a life coach. You know, Bill, I can look back over the course of my lifetime being involved in athletics and sports and, and school sports, and I think a lot of other people could too, and they would recognize that some of the most influential people in our lives have been coaches. Yes. It could be a team, it oh, be yes. individual coaches. And so the topic of one of your upcoming uh, or topics of your messages is exactly that, the Holy Spirit being our life coach. Yeah. And, you know, in, in, the, in the natural and in the uh, secular world, life coaches are growing in popularity these days, and people are taking them on to help them get to the next level in their life or career. And uh, I began to look at that spiritually and see that the, the Holy Spirit wants to lead us and guide us into all truth. And the resources he brings to the table are phenomenal in mm -hmm. terms of helping uh, to propel us ahead in life. Why not listen to him? Why not accept all these resources he brings our way? That's right. Well, I can t be honest, sometimes I feel like I need a life coach just to get me out of bed in the morning, <laughs> get to work. It's great to have someone there, maybe just to give us that nudge yep. and to lead us. Yep. But certainly there's a spiritual element there. Of course, the Bible, just all kinds of parallels to exactly that, to athletic, um, running the race, of course, in Hebrews and 1 Corinthians, you, you reference several of them, but it talks a lot about that, about running the race yeah. um, and just fighting the good fight and all these parallels because you know, we need that in that perspective, that coach type or that nudging that we, I just mentioned. Yeah, and, and, and you know, Paul did a lot of the writing on those and the whole emphasis is on winning. And I don't mean winning in the sake of, in, in, in the regards of uh, winning it regardless of whatever or sinning in that like, He's talking about winning in terms of the prize being to be with the Lord, mm. to be with him in heaven, to be uh, with him on his throne and the like. And so we have to have that mentality of winning. It's a winning mentality. And that's all a coach is about. Coaches don't get up and tell, talk about defeat. They talk about that's winning. Right. That's right. <laughs> when it takes that competitive edge in life almost, we are so constantly bombarded um, trying to be knocked off the track or fall off the the path that we're supposed to be on. And it almost takes a competitive edge to fight back mm -hmm. and to say, you know what, no, I'm gonna make these tougher but better decisions in our lives. I have seen coaches, uh, Zach, who are Christian and have taken a lot of the natural things of life and the metaphors in the Bible, bringing them mm -hmm. together to actually mold and shape a young kid into the man or woman that God would have them to be. And these young people grow up and they are forever indebted and, and so grateful to their coach mm -hmm. for having led them along like, like, like that. And I think that is so important about the Holy Spirit who has insight into the world that we don't have. And yet he wants to share that with us. Mm -hmm. In one point, the Bible says that the Holy Spirit does not speak of his own, but he shares with us what he hears from the Father mm -hmm. and what he hears from Jesus. And so we're getting it firsthand to know day by day how to enrich our lives and how to enrich the lives of others. Yeah. So if we're looking at the Holy Spirit in that coach capacity, as you, you mentioned just a few of the roles of a coach, things like to develop you to your full potential, create the right conditions for learning, um, providing encouragement, and then one that I love, a chauffeur. <laughs> the coach <laughs> is a chauffeur often to, to the to students. That's true. And you know, and, I, and what I said in my sermon about that is that we as Christians sometimes are fighting the Lord at the steering wheel of life. We want to be in control and we're trying yes. to guide the steering wheel. And the Lord is saying, no, let me take the steering wheel. Let me guide you through life. And when we take that control away from the Holy Spirit and we're guiding the steering wheel now, once we have an accident, then we expect the Lord to give us a full explanation of why right. things went wrong. Uh -huh. And clean it up for us. Too, exactly. Out. Without a doubt. Well, you, you mentioned also kind of the few ways the Holy Spirit does that. There's kind of distinct ways that he guides us. And let's run through a couple of those. Well, you know, one of the ways he guides us is through the inner witness. And I think that as Christians, we need to encourage one another to spend more quiet time. Hmm. When we have questions before the Lord, sometimes we get a deep settled peace to know that, yes, this is the way I want you to go. There's a peace about it. Or sometimes, Zach, we get a, 
a disturbance in our spirit mm. and we feel a resistance and the Holy Spirit is saying, uh-uh, don't go there, don't go there. Right. You know? mm -hmm. And we need to listen to that because it is so easy to override that and then we wind up in trouble on the other end. Sure, yeah. And you also, you talk about um, showing you things to come and that yeah. that is maybe outward. We, we spend a lot of time focusing on our current actions or things we've done, maybe not as much time looking towards what's coming. Exactly, because there is a future and why not turn to a man who knows the future and can tell you what steps you ought to be taking now to get there. Just a reminder that you can hear more about this topic starting Sunday here on TV 44. Of course, you can watch Update with Bill Harris every Sunday at 1.30 and Thursdays at 9 a.m.